antique guitar old restoration restoration music tools broken <laughs> and they get 1.3 million views out of this shit. Today's video is sponsored by Native Sons Goods, makers of the highest quality woven guitar, bag, and camera straps you'll ever see. Native Sons straps are handmade one at a time in the USA with unparalleled love and care. Click the link in the description to check out their new expanded lineup featuring all new three inch guitar straps. And remember, when you support my sponsor, you support this channel and I sure appreciate it. Salutations, lads and ladies. Brad the Guitologist here. I've been seeing all these videos, you know, uh, up on YouTube where these people will go out and they'll sort of find something or they'll stumble across something at an antique store or something in the woods or whatever and they'll go, uh, you know, try to get it started. Like there's this one video, uh, you know, where this guy went out into the woods and this excavator had been out in the woods for like 40 years and he was going to see if it would run again. You know, just videos like that. I kind of like that kind of stuff can we salvage it sort of videos. But there's a lot of these that are seem to be coming out of the Far East, uh, China and maybe Indonesia and places like this where uh, these guys will go out and, and it's obviously fake. They're like going through the rice paddies, fishing for fish or shrimp or whatever. And she pulls like a sewing machine out of the muck and you know, obviously they've right, they've placed it there like the week before and just made sure to shove a bunch of shells and everything inside of it so it looks really old or whatever. And then they'll take it back and restore it, which, you know, fine, fair enough. I, I wish they would just skip the pretense and just get to the restoration if that's what they're gonna do. But uh, they get a lot of hits doing this crap, you know, with uh, this, this whole pretentious, oh, we just found this. These sorts of channels have a very general audience, you know, so it's not a lot of people who are going to understand Luthery. They're not going to understand like guitar restoration or anything like that, uh, or even what a good guitar versus a, a, you know, bad guitar even is. But they had this video, it's like antique guitar, old restoration, restoration, music tools broken. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, let's put all the keywords in the title, and they get 1.3 million views out of this shit <laughs> within a month. Or No, no, no. No, excuse me. They've gotten 1.3 million views since November 23rd on this video. And I thought what I would do is go through this video with you guys so we might have a bit of a laugh. So let's check this out. Okay, so it opens up, and it looks like, you know, he's... He's trying to pretend that he's just found this guitar. It looks like they've slathered it with mud to make it just kind of look old and make it like punched a hole in the top. The strings are, you know, of course, extremely old. It looks like somebody, the typical thing you might find where somebody has found, uh, where somebody has put steel strings on a nylon string guitar and it's just a crappy like Taiwanese made or maybe even Korean made late 70s. You know, crappy classical guitar basically is what it looks like to me. But then he goes after the, he goes after the top with a wire brush. And I don't know what the fuck is he doing? Oh my God. I mean, that is straight up a wire brush. You can see him like putting scratches in the fucking thing. What are you doing, dude? Okay, this part's not so bad. He's oiling the tuners and taking them off. So, fair play on that one. But that only brings it back like an iota from the disaster that he's already done. What's funny to me is, here in a second, I've actually, I've, I started watching this. I watched like the first couple minutes uh, already. So I know kind of what's coming in the first couple minutes. But what's funny to me is here in a minute, you'll see what I mean. After he's gone to town with his wire brush and put all these scratches in it, he uh, he actually washes it off. He gives the damn thing a bath. <laughs> what the? So there's this trend among restoration videos where you know they'll they'll take apart every single piece of the thing you know before they they'll like uh, strip it down uh, and sandblast it and powder coat it and do all this stuff but right now he's just going un to unnecessary links really taking the tuners completely apart uh, when he could have probably just 
cut the strings and taken the tuners off and then just soaked them in oil or something, you know? But here he's grabbing these strings with these pliers and just yanking on them with no regard to the guitar's fin And it's not like the guitar finish matters anyway at this point, especially after he's gone to town on it with a fucking wire brush. But, uh, you know, he's just no regard for the finish or anything at all. He's just got these pliers yanking on the strings. <laughs> Why he doesn't use the cutting bit of the plier and cut the strings is beyond me. Just cut the strings off, dude, and pull the tiny amount through the back. You've got, you've got cutters right there. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, right here. God. But see all the scratches? You can see the scratches? Those weren't in that guitar. He put those there with that brush. <laughs> and if he didn't put them there with the brush, it sure looked like he did. But if he didn't, then they went, like, before they slathered it in mud, they went and just went and scratched it all to hell. I mean, this is not this is not honest wear here. This is not obviously not something they just went out and found in the muck, you know. Oh, I just stumbled across this guitar. It was just sitting here in the weeds. <laughs> here, back to the wire brush. Back to it's just a glutton for punishment here. Back to the fucking wire brush. I don't know why I keep skipping between wire brush and tuners. I, I must have missed something. Why the hell is he doing that? I've never seen anybody disassemble tuners in this way, like with them still on the guitar, like taking apart the pieces on the guitar. <laughs> and you know, I, I could understand, I could forgive, you know, some uh, uh, some noviceness, you know, <laughs> you know, people not necessarily understanding everything about guitars. I can I could forgive that, but this is just like. It's got 1.3 million views. And here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So he so he took all, you know, he took this wire brush to everything and scratched the hell out of it. And now he's gonna fucking just run it under the faucet anyway. Even on the inside. <laughs> Where there's no finish. Oh man. This is why it has 1.3 million, because it's such a shit show. Of course people are going to share this. <laughs> I'm sharing it now. Oh man. And, you know, I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to go check it out. But I mean, holy shit. I guess he's trying to air dry it now. And, and what's funny here is he actually has an air compressor. And now he's got, now he's taking a dryer. This is a huge no-no, by the way. If you get, if you get a Oh, there goes the rosette. And you could tell this was a really, really cheap, really crappy guitar to even to begin with. But I don't know how he's how he uh, intends on making this worth his while, going to the, this extent. But yeah, you can tell this is just an all laminate, really low end uh, classical guitar from, like I said, probably the 1970s, maybe early 80s. Uh, just really crappy woods throughout. Probably a painted fretboard as well. This is as far as I got uh, when I st started watching it. Right here, this is as far as I got. But look what he does here. He takes these ramen noodles and he must have been watching these these videos where these dudes are, you know, making whole guitars out of ramen noodles. Which, by the way, guys, it's I think it's about time some of you guys started making an acoustic guitar for a change. It's like, you, I think you've pretty much 
explored the depths of like all the different things you can make an electric guitar out of colored pencils ramen noodles legos you know maybe let's let's build some acoustic guitars for a change but here we go cyano glue super glue and ramen noodles now he's taking a dryer too we're back to the dryer which i don't know who told him that's a good idea on exposed wood so we're just going to dry out the wood probably warp it in the process well with this it's laminate so it wouldn't be as easy but he still might delaminate de the thing especially after he's had it wet he's wetted it and he's dry hot dried it and you can just see the ramen it's like turning into mush because there's too much heat and it's not really doing what he meant for it to do necessarily he was meant you know he meant for it to be more like this well some of it's going in sawdust but some of it's actually uh it's kind of liquefying you know but it, he's gonna paint over it anyway i presume so you know maybe this isn't that bad but i don't know how well paint is gonna stick to uh cyano glue and ramen noodles he would have been better off really taking some uh, filler or some sawdust and mixing that with the glue. So now it looks like he's using a filler here, like a grain filler. Oh, so all the binding is missing, so he's just filling up the space where the binding was with filler. Why didn't he just use this filler? I don't know, I'm kind of at a loss on that one, why he didn't just use the filler to fill the hole. Maybe he's using the filler like to fill some of the deeper gouges or something that he put in it. <laughs> this is such a stylized thing too of this of this particular video genre. I like to throw each uh, part in a bucket at one at a time for effect. What is that like a rust remover or something he's using now? Oh no, don't tell me you're going to paint those. Please tell me that's not for the tuners. No, okay, you're spraying the guitar. See, here's the problem. Are you spraying that with a clear lacquer? Because if that's what you're doing, you're going to have that huge hole and it's not going to cover up it's not going to cover up any of your imperfections. And you're spraying over the frets, you didn't tape off the frets. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Are you just spraying lacquer on the fucking thing? Oh my god. 1.3 million hits, guys. 1.3 million hits. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> I'm, I think I'm just going to start fucking up the amps. You know? I'll just fuck up everybody's amps. You know, you send me an amp, I'll just fuck it up. And I'll buy you a new one. Because <laughs> I'll be able to afford it. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing, man? You're still spraying over the frets. I, I guess you're going to take the wire brush back to the frets. That must be your plan. You're going to get the wire brush back out. And go to town on the fence after you're done with this stage. <laughs> Hell, maybe you won't even wait for the lacquer to dry. It'll just do the fence in just a second. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, what, what do we have here? Is this a blow dryer? Are we back to the blow dryer? Or is he still uh, trying to cover this, this shit show in lacquer? Look at it. It's running. You can see, actually, you see those, uh, you see the white areas? That's where there's too much humidity in the air, and it's all, the humidity, yeah, it's clouded all that all up. He hasn't done anything. Are you putting strings on it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's putting them back in in reverse rather than building them outside of the guitar. He's putting them back in in the reverse order that he got them out in. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, come on, man. He's taking the piss. This is a troll. This is a this is a hundred percent troll. This guy knows how to play guitar. He knows how to he probably knows how to build guitars. He probably works in one of those Chinese factories or something. 
building guitars. But yeah, Restoration, what is the name of this channel? Restoration and Metal. <laughs> Just Restoration and Metal. 322,000 subscribers. People have signed up to watch this shit show. <laughs> oh, man. And oh, he's putting them on backwards. Maybe he's going to go Dobro style here. He is straight up putting them on backwards. He might pull this out at the end and make me look like a dumbass, but I don't see how he's going to pull this back. He has left the... <laughs> He's left the finish in the in the in the. It still has the clouds on it. It still has the clouds from the freaking humidity. Look at it. It's running all over the place. He sprayed on top of the fucking frets, and now he's just going to strings. We're just, we're just going to strings at this point. We don't need any steps. We, who needs sanding? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe in his next video he can make his own sandpaper. <laughs> but he's going to steel strings. This is this is obviously a classical guitar, and he's putting steel strings on it. He's repeating the mistake of the former person who owned it. 1.3 million hits. To their credit, to their credit, 10,000 people at least have thumbed this down. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> But that means that out of the 1.3, you have 1.29 million people who didn't thumbs, didn't know enough to thumb it down. <laughs> oh man. He must be going to slide here, but he's left the zero fret. If he's going to slide, he's fucked up by leaving the zero fret on. But I was thinking, you know, maybe it, he could. If he was going to slide, he wouldn't need the frets. So painting over the frets maybe is not that bad. But how's he intend on playing this thing with with lacquer? I mean, straight up lacquer, and not just sprayed on top of the frets, caked on top of the frets. He sprayed like. Five coats in one. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. I, I'm not. I'm not perfect. You know, nothing. I don't think anything I've turned out has been like. You know, a, has been perfect ever. Really. You know, you, perfection is not something really to strive for. It. If, if you strive, you can strive for it, uh, but you'll never attain it. And you're always going to have some measure of, well, I could have always done that better. I could have done this better. You always are learning and trying to improve. But man, this dude has got a long way to go. He he had a long way to go before he started making videos. But he's got one point. He's got 1.3 million hits. So what the fuck do I know? What do I know? This video has twice as many views as my best video ever. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> and here's he's leaving no slack. He's leaving no room for really for the string to go around even once. Yeah, this dude has never even restrung a guitar before, I don't think. We're just watching a dude restring a guitar at this point. The restoration part has gone out the window, and we're just watching a dude restring. And, and very slowly and painfully badly at that. I'm gonna skip ahead. This is. He's not even saying anything to break up the monotony. Was he really trying to tune right there? Was he actually trying to tune? And here we go again. No slack whatsoever. You're not even going to get the string all the way around even once.
This is the result. This is the result. Dude, look at the look at the lacquer runs. It looks as bad now as when he pulled it out of the fucking weeds. He's trying. He's still trying to tune. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! You see that tool set right there? He has. I have that same tool set. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dude, give it up, man. You're never gonna get that piece of shit in tune. You're not even gonna be able to fret the fucker. Six and a half hours later. He might as well just throw it back out in the weeds. Yeah, you've got these video mills, uh, basically, is what they are video mills. Uh, in some of these Shithole. poorer countries in the world and you know a lot of them are really good you know a lot of them will show you they'll go out and they'll build something you know like show you like how to build a mud hut or something in the jungle or whatever so some of them are pretty fun but that was the biggest shit show I think I've ever seen on YouTube and uh, 1.3 million hits just makes me want to go gouge my eyes out uh -oh.